Some of Perth's most exclusive schools have opened their doors to Seven News to show what they're doing to combat the perils of the internet, in particular the phenomenon of nude selfies. They're getting advice from a former police officer who now works on a different front line, advising teenagers and parents how to avoid unwanted exposure. From the day you took it out of the box till now, you can recover everything on a phone or tablet. Important advice to very attentive Year 11s at Emmanuel Catholic College in success on the perils of taking nude selfies and sending them to their friends. I can't stop anyone in this room sending nudes. I can't do that. And that's not really my fight. Ex-cop Paul Litherland used to fight criminals on the internet. Now Paul's business is educating teenagers. PLC student Georgia was just 13 when she saw her first nude selfie, a photo of a boy. I was just at a party and then somebody got sent one and was showing it around just because they thought it was funny. Paul says giving a teenager a phone should be looked at the same way as putting a teenager in a car. Parents should know the risks and start educating their children early, from year eight at the latest. The reality is, once a photo is uploaded to the internet, it'll stay there forever. Be informed. Nothing better than sitting down next to your kids and, and going, oh, I know about this. Among Paul's top tips, put a pin code on your SIM card as well as your phone and use a reverse Google search if you're concerned about the use of a photo. Grab one of your photos that you might be worried about, open Google, go to the Google Images tab and just drag that photo across and drop it into the search bar. Emily Baker, 7 News.